enough of those snot-nosed rats. Oh, what'd you say? What'd you say? Catch one. Maybe we could eat it. That's quite enough. We should all get to bed. Can Grandpa Joe just tell me one long story? Just one, please. Okay, maybe just one. But no zombie worker stories. You need your sleep. You guys can't Grandpa Joe tell us Charlie a nighttime story? <laughs> Guess not. I'll be over here reading my book. So Charlie. I got a story for you. What's it about? Pirates? The giant peach? Zombies? I promised your mom no zombie stories. This one's about a little boy. And it just so happens to be this little boy's birthday. Yeah? And this little boy thought he opened all of his presents. But guess what, Charlie? Look. A walk and many curb surprise! Shh! Why did you get it? I have my ways. Now, there's still a teeny tiny chance that this boy be hiding. The fifth and last golden ticket! What's going on over there? What's that in your hands? Just something for me to Charlie on his birthday. But keep it on the down low. I don't want to wake the others. What's going on? I smell chocolate. What do you want to do, Joe? <laughs> this is between me and the boy. Go on, Charlie, open it. I can't. I'm too nervous. You open it, Grandpa Joe. I'll tell you what. We'll open it together. A lifetime supply of chocolate. One. Two, three. Nothing. A good thing, really. Chocolate's pretty fattening. You're right. And a lifetime supply of it, why, you'd be the size of the dome on Capitol Hill. I wish I'd never heard of candy or walk up. Mm -hmm. 